Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. I've talked about an application called By Design a couple of times. I've also done a, done a review or actually a first impression video on By Design. Uh, I checked it out again recently, like a couple of days ago, uh, or actually a little longer than that, probably. Um, I checked it out, tried it out, paid for the monthly plan, and I really liked it to the point where I actually purchased the $250 lifetime plan. And I've talked a lot about lifetime plans uh, lately, uh, or lifetime subscriptions. But in this video, I thought I would talk a little bit about how I'm using by design. So let's actually go ahead and just start off with the pricing here, because um, it has... Uh, an annual plan, a monthly plan, and a lifetime plan. This is quite expensive. This is what I paid for, uh, which gives you all features and forever access. I think they have an AppSumo deal, which is uh, a lot cheaper. They at least had it. I don't know if they still uh, have it, um, but there is a lifetime plan here. Uh, I I don't think that this makes uh, financial sense unless you're going to stick with the application for a really long time. Uh, but I ended up paying for the lifetime plan. There is an annual plan of $4 each month billed annually uh, or $6 each month billed monthly, which is quite cheap. So that's the pricing of By Design. It is uh, quite a cheap application. There is a free seven day trial just to test out the application. Uh, so you will be able to test out the application fully before you decide uh, to commit or not. That's a seven day free trial and you don't have to uh, add uh, your card. They also have an affiliate program, which I haven't gotten into yet, but at some point I will uh, apply for that. I just am a little lazy, uh, so I haven't been able to do that yet. But um, as I said, I paid for the lifetime plan. Um, and we have a leaderboard here. We have some of my tasks. Uh, it's a little funny because I do some of my tasks in uh, English, some in Norwegian, some in half English, half Norwegian. Uh, but basically this is my dashboard here and I can actually customize this. This is a new update so I can add things. So if I wanted to add my recent pages here, I could do that. I could add my scribble pad. Uh, like this, and you can see that they appear here. I actually used uh, the scribble pad a little bit when I first, uh, when it first came out, which was a day or two ago, but I haven't used it that much like today. So I removed it. I'm playing around with different setups on this uh, dashboard uh, because that's one of the reasons I re uh, really like by design. It is the perfect blend between flexibility, like the ability to customize things either here or in my pages and like having structure in my tasks, being able to do calendar blocking and not having like not having to set up my task system a lot uh, and spending a lot of time uh, customizing my task system because I don't have a problem customizing my notes, but I have a bigger problem customizing my tasks. Here I have an inbox. So basically whenever I come up with something I have to write down quickly, I do that here. I'm currently using the web uh, version. Um, on my Mac, I mainly use the Mac app. I also use the iOS app. Uh, but this is the web version, so they have that as well, because on this computer I rarely do work apart from like filming, editing videos. Uh, I just play video games here. If you have any good video games, I I happily welcome recommendations. Uh, but basically here I can uh, like move things around. So let's just move this here. Uh, and currently I'm filming YouTube videos. So I could drag this in here. I won't do that right now. I can actually reorder these if I wanted to. I can move them to tomorrow. Uh, I have my habit here. This has an H, which means that it is a habit, which I can check off. So I have read a little bit today. Now it's checked off and you can see my streak here. Um, I can add things into Sunday. I can view completed tasks. Uh, I can press this to just collapse things, uh, this arrow right here. Uh, and I can click on this to see like my page. Uh, I will come back to this later because there is some uh, social features here which you can turn off. Like I can 
turn this off and be in private mode, but I really like having this on. I find it really fun and I love leaderboards, uh, gamification in general. Um, so that is the basic like dashboard setup I'm using. I do calendar blocking for the day after. So today I would calendar block for tomorrow. Uh, so today and tomorrow are actually closed. Everything is closed here in Norway. So I don't go to work. So there isn't as much like, as you can see here, there is nothing on my calendar. I just have my weekly review, which I do on Sundays. So I'm not uh, calendar blocking when I'm off work. When I'm uh, at work, I do a lot of calendar blocking. Uh, but that is like the basic dashboard setup. This is what I mainly use, but I also uh, do a lot of social media stuff here. So here I have my different, uh, I call them like areas of life or projects. Uh, so these are my areas of life. These are my resources. So I have like books and articles here. Uh, I don't actually use this, at least not yet, for uh, things like books and notes apart from the weekly review. Uh, I use it to add like productivity applications, some design resources, some comments, but I haven't really used it for notes. Uh, it's just something I'm testing out um, because currently I'm still using my mind for my notes stuff. This is still um, project management stuff. They have databases. Uh, these aren't really powerful, like the tags here, for example. Uh, if I just click this, uh, you can see that these tags are the same tags that appear across everywhere, like my tasks, my databases, uh, it's the same tags everywhere. I can't like have one set of tags uh, for uh, this and one set of tags for tasks. You can see that the status and the area of life, they actually have exactly the same uh, tags. Uh, so that is an issue, like there are options here, you can add different things here, uh, like links, pages, dates, tasks, but I don't really use uh, the databases that much. Again, this is something I'm playing around with, I don't really like them yet. Uh, and as I mentioned, like I, I'm not a big fan of the tags here, because these aren't actually tags, these are tag A tag, I can't add multiple. Um, but that is something they've said that they are looking into. When it comes to my social media stuff, I just do it like this. Uh, so I have my YouTube, I have like the company name, uh, and then I have YouTube videos, blog, podcast, LinkedIn, uh, other podcast, uh, X, and admin links. So I have everywhere here, everything here, sorry. Uh, and uh, like here, I could add priority, I could add duration, I don't do that for any of these. And if we check out my blog here, like if I click this, uh, I have a Google Doc uh, link right here, which I can open up where I actually do my writing. I have some notes like this uh, here, I have some notes on a blog post. That is basically how I do project uh, management or uh, social media management inside of here. And uh, they are working on a dedicated like view to see all of your tasks in one place. I'm hoping that whenever they do that, that I can have the ability to like not show a page or a set of tasks because I don't necessarily want these things right here, my uh, blog posts, my YouTube video ideas to go in the same place as my regular tasks, because uh, these are a little uh, different. Um, actually, they are really different, because these aren't things I will ever schedule on top of my calendar. I just jump in here and I look and I think like, okay, I want to film this Constella updated review video, for example. Uh, but um, I could also add a schedule here if I ever wanted to. I can do backslash just to show you all of the different abilities here. I can actually add a link to an existing page. So I could add a link to any type, for example, and open up the any type page from within here. Uh, this, uh, this is a block based application, so I can drag things back and forward. Let me just go ahead and delete this. So these are the pages a little like inspired by uh, the notion structure that we've seen 
in a lot of different application, uh, applications. I have the ability to share this and add comments and also open up my calendar from here to drag tasks right into my calendar. Uh, I can see the full calendar here, uh, not something I will uh, show off in today's uh, video. I think I have a lot of work tasks on there, uh, but uh, I also have the hub, which isn't, again, something I've tested out, uh, but uh, these are like things you can get into. So uh, learning new things, for example, learn how to code. I can press this, I can download the goal and I get all of the different tasks with how many, how long they're going to take, links uh, for learning those different tasks as uh, so something to check out if you're looking to get into courses or learning something new. Uh, this is my profile uh, and th this is what I said about um, about uh, like um, the social aspect of things. Uh, so I can see here that there is there is actually um, there is actually a affiliate link right here so I can actually share this link. Um, maybe I will do it, maybe I won't but um, here I have my profile where I can like add my favorite podcasts which right now is the Vergecast and Decoder. I can add my favorite music. Uh, I have a really special taste in music. I can write a little bit about myself. I can add my goals, uh, my virtues, favorite books, places traveled. So I can add a lot of things here and have this uh, social element. And I think you could add friends. I can also change my profile picture, which is something I should probably do. Uh, and you can actually also chat with people from here if you add them. Uh, that is down here. You can click this and chat with people. So this is the social aspect of things. Uh, but that is basically um, that is basically how this uh, works. This application works. Uh, so if we go back here, this is the view I mainly work from and I think I've covered most of the things. So this is basically how the application works in general and as I said I paid 250 USD or actually I paid six dollars for the monthly plan then I contacted the team and uh, I got a link to pay 244 USD to get the lifetime plan because I, I've already or I already had an active subscription, um, so they just took that off. Um, I have had issues, like I've had billing issues. It wasn't easy to uh, pay for the lifetime plan. I had to ask to get help for that. Then there wasn't an easy way to see that I had paid and I also hadn't got a, gotten a confirmation, so I had to contact the team again to get a confirmation. But they answered really, really quickly, which is weird because we're in totally different time zones. Uh, I think the team is based, or at least the, one of the founders, maybe both, uh, are based out of Boston, uh, or at least the US, uh, and I live in Norway, so totally different time zones. But they actually answered really, really quickly, which I am really happy about. Uh, so I am a big fan. As I said, I don't recommend um yeah or lifetime plans almost never especially not now in the time of ai but if you're looking for a bit more structure but also a little bit of flexibility i think this is worth looking at it is still in a really early stage it needs to develop it needs to get better add more features but as of right now i am a really big fan of the application of course, I'm, I paid 250 USD for it. But that covers it for today's video. If you want to check it out, I will leave a link to it down below. Probably an affiliate link. Uh, but that covers it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching.